Hello everybody, so in this video I'm gonna show you how to get mods for Minecraft Java. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them but here all you want to do is go to your search bar and you want to search up mod Winflexo. This is a website which has a lot of mods on it so you can just enter. And here you'll see modern.com here. Just click on modern and this will bring you to this page here where you can go ahead and go to discover content here on the top of the website and you can go down to mods. And from there you will see plenty of mods. Now this is not the only website for this. There's also another really popular one called CurseForge. So I'm going to show you this on both of them. So we'll just do CurseForge here. Did you CurseForge? And here you'll see the same thing. So you'll see curseforge.com. Just click on curseforge. And this will bring you to this page here where you just have to go ahead and click Minecraft here. Just type in Minecraft. Or just find Minecraft somewhere here and click it. Then you want to do browse all. And then here you have some mods. We can just go on mods here. And here you have some mods. So here we have mods on two different websites. So. Now there's a bit more things to explain. So number one, there is game version. This is what version of Minecraft the mod supports. So for example, the latest Minecraft version we have is 1.21.5 and it goes quite low as well to the previous ones as well, which is really cool. And here you have loaders. These are very important to know about. So the main ones here are indeed these four here. So Fabric, Forge, Neoforge and Quilt. And there is other ones, but in this case, this is really the main ones you want to focus on, as this is where most of the mods work on. So that is what you want to know here. And categories is just for modern. So it is mainly these two different things that you want to learn about. So what we'll do here is get ourselves a mod that will show you multiple ways that mods work. So let's get started with one of them, which is Iris shaders. Let's say you want to run shaders for Minecraft. That's a mod. So what you want to do here is click on Iris shaders or search for it, for example. And then you're going to have this page like this. Each mod has their own page. So here, for example, you have versions here. And that is the most important one that you want from these. So these are just pictures from the mod. But the most important one here is versions because here you can select multiple things. Number one, platform. This is Neoforge. Fabric or Quilt, these are the loaders here. And here we have game versions, you remember this, this is just the Minecraft version. And channels is basically what state the mod is, so for example in beta or release. In most cases if you have a release for your mod, you prefer release, as it's more stable. Okay, so that is for Modrint. When it comes to CurseForge, it is very similar, so here we can just go ahead and search for Iris Jitters. So Iris Shaders, as this is the mod we are interested in right now. And here you'll find Iris Shaders. So you just click on the box, you can click anywhere here. And now you're going to have this page, it is quite similar. And our files page here is our versions page on Modrunt basically. So we click this, and these here are these here. Okay, so now let's say that we want to download this mod for our Minecraft for 1.21.5 and we want to use fabric. Well, what you want to do here is go on game versions, choose 1.21.5. This will limit how much versions shows up. And now you're going to go to platforms and you're going to select fabric. Like so. And now you're going to have only the fabric ones. Now to download the mod, you want to go to the green download button which shows up and then you want to click that. And now the mod has been downloaded. But there is one more thing of mods which are very important. Sometimes you might have mods which requires dependencies. And as we just gotten this one here, what you want to do for modern is click the name of the version and down there it is going to tell you dependencies here. Sodium and a specific version is required. If you don't have sodium, this will crash the game. So what you have to do here is go in the version of whatever iris shaders mod you got or any other mod and you actually want to go down, see if there's any dependencies, and if there are, just click on it and it will bring you to this specific page of the version of Sodium, for example, or any other mod that this mod might need. Fabric API is a very common one. 
So here, you just do download for that, and then you have everything you need. You have iris and you have sodium. So now, the first step is done, and if you had a mod which just sends you two versions here, you have to do the same thing as we did before, and just choose like so, and then you'll be able to go ahead and choose the version. So that is something that you can do. Here when it comes to Curse Forge, it is quite similar. So let's say that we want our game versions, we'll just choose 1.2.5, right? And mod loaders, we do fabric. There you go. Now we have a couple fabric here, we have two of them. And we just get the latest one here for release. And now we have the thing that we can download. But we also have related projects and additional files, which sometimes these have the specific dependency. This is why Modwinf is sometimes better, because it does put dependencies more often than CurseForge. But for example, if you want one with dependencies, we'll go ahead and go with one where I know there will be dependencies on. So we'll go ahead and get ourselves Waystones. Then we go ahead on Files, and I'll just quickly do this real quick just to show you. So we'll go on Fabric here, and we do Additional Files and Related Projects, and there you go. Here we need two of these. These are related projects, so they are dependencies. These dependencies are the same thing as what we got for Sodium, but for this mod this time, okay? So make sure that if your game crashes, it will tell you what mod you need, so this is one thing you need to note. Okay, so let's say that we have everything we had from modern fear and we now have a two mods what do we have to do we can't just add this into minecraft it doesn't work what you need to do here is get yourself fabric neoforge quilt or forge and as we chose fabric you actually have to go to a new tab and you have to go ahead and search up fabric minecraft like so here you'll see fabric on net and here you have fabric so just click on that link and this will bring you to the fabric homepage where you can go to the blue download button now, all you want to do is go to download for Windows, and this will get you the Fabric installer. When it comes to other things like Forge, what you want to do here is go ahead and go on Forge Minecraft. This is the search for it. You will see Forge files here. Just click on the link. And now you're going to have some versions that you can go ahead and choose, like 1.1.4. And here we have also show all versions, which is important in some cases because some mods might need specific versions of Forge, for example. For NeoForge, same idea. So we do NeoForge. And here we have the NeoForge projects. Click on that. Then from there, you will be able to go ahead and download the latest one they have. Or you can go to other versions and click this button here. It will bring you to this page, which is very easy. You just choose what version you want to play. And it is going to give us a file that we can go ahead and download. And when it comes to the last one here, which was Quilt. If we go ahead and go on Quilt, like so, it is Quilt MC. You'll see the Quilt project here. You want to go on Quilt MC here, and it is a bit similar. You go to Install, and you do Client, and this just gets you the file. So it is the same thing here. It's just different loaders for mods. But we have what we need here. So all you want to do here is just close your web browser, you don't have that. And then now you can go to your File Explorer, to access your downloads folder. Here, all you want to do is double click the Fabric Installer and from there, you'll see Minecraft version here. So, some clients will have this, so you just do basically the version you want to play and also matches with the mods, make sure it matches or else it will crash the game. So, here we have 1.21.5, 1.21.5, so we just do 1.21.5 and here just do install, okay, and close. It is nice and fast. And now what you do is go to the Minecraft launcher here. And with the Minecraft launcher, we will be able to see a new folder called mods. But there is one little asterisk of this. I'm going to show you what this is. So basically, here we have Fabric Loader. And you can go to Installations. Now you can hover over Fabric Loader and go to the folder icon. Of course, you can do this for any other loader you might have. And here, you will see a mods folder. Now, this only works for Fabric. So if you have other loaders, you will not see a mods folder, except if you didn't have one before. So if you don't have a mods folder, what you want to do is right click, new folder, and then you want to call it mods. So you just make a new folder, and then you call it mods, like so. And this will work. Now I am not going to do this just because it will just 
not work as I will have a folder called mods in this directory. But this is what you want to do if you don't have a mods folder. So if you have one here, just go ahead and double click it. And from there, you want to go to downloads, you want to select the two mods and copy them. Now, now you want to go to the top left arrow and go to the back to mods folder and click paste. So now what we did, we basically went to downloads, copy pasted sodium and iris to the DOM Minecraft mods folder. And now all you want to do is go to the Minecraft launcher. You want to go to play, make sure fabric or any other loader is selected and click play. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up. Okay, and here all you want to do is simply go ahead and use your mod. Now there is of course so many ways of using the mod that you might have a lot of different mods. This is just iris. So of course this does not apply to you but for example iris lets you use shaders so you can do options, you can do video settings and you'll see shader packs here. So you can just click on shader packs and now you'll be able to add some shaders. But that is the mod we chose but of course you might have an other mod or even mod pack. So yeah that is how we get mods for Minecraft Java. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!